Hey, welcome back. We're gonna do another spray session on the outdoor office. So we're gonna show you, we're gonna do the base coat of white and then some black, maybe opposite black on the bottom. I don't know which one I'm gonna do yet. That's a interesting concept. It could look like a fish is upside down trying to die. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> that ain't a bad idea, buddy. What other colors are you going to think about? Just those two. Maybe some red for the gills. Uh -huh. Any other? Mm -mm. All right, well, let's get the guns loaded up and let's start painting. You ready? Okay, so now we're going to start with a base coat of white. up the lip oh that's a good idea what do you think yep i think we should Let's... okay so i like to tape up my bills just think just so the um paint doesn't get on the um the bill and easy painters tape from Lowe's, easy rip so let's get back to painting He is going with an all black belly here, like he said he would. I don't know his paint scheme after that, but. Well, maybe uh, come up a little bit. All right. That looks. Just fade that in there a little bit. Just... There you go. Looking good, bud.
you thinking? <laughs> Good. You got both sides done already? Nice. Works for me. Maybe. What color are you going with now? Oh. Want to darken it up here in a little bit? Yeah. It's going to be a muddy water bait here. It looks pretty good, but... See it so far. Nice. All right, what are you thinking now? Blue. On top? Mm hmm. Sweet. All right. Okay, so I added something here where my dad wasn't videoing. I put that all the way up. That's like, cool. I have like red hey, eyebrows. It's all about. It's all about what you want in a bait, bud. Okay, so let's do the blue. All right. And do blue in here. Other side, and then all the way down the back. Cool. Covered up. Not too closer, that's what happened. good. I like it. Definitely different. Definitely different. I like it a lot. Okay, so I wanted to put some scales on this. We didn't have any alligator clips <laughs> clip it together tight, so my dad's holding it. Well, I'm gonna um, paint it. See what it looks like? Mm -hmm. All right. Grab the bill of the bait. Oh. Nice. Nice. Huh? Let's see that. Hold it down here. That looks pretty funky. What do you say? Yeah. Let's get this thing dipped. And some polyurethane. Get some eyes on here first. All right. Okay. So now we're gonna put the eyes in it. It's like silverish eye. Oh. Drop your eyes there. Let me see that thing. Yeah, I already got the other eye in. Nice. That looks pretty good, bud. Let's get this thing dipped. All right. We like to use the Menwax fast drying polyurethane. I know I need some KBS or I believe it's called Aluma Light or something like that. Aluma UV. Aluma UV. Yeah, you're right. So, but this is the poor man's clear coat right here, right? So, we've got our bait. Get it in there. 
Oh, that looks nasty. <laughs> you want to dip it one more time? No. Yeah, dip it one more time and I'll get you another hanger. Looks good, buddy. All right. Let's get this thing dried out. Okay. I finished my first crankbait. And, um, we, it's called the switch because we put the black on the bottom that should be on the top and the blue on the, um, top that should be on the bottom. Put a little red in there. That's why we call it the switch because it looks like a fish that's dying. So here's a medium runner, three to five foot crankbait. Um, tipped off with some Gamagatsu number four hooks, um, number three swivels, or I'm sorry, split rings. But I'll give you an up close here. Isaac's getting pretty good with his paint jobs. So, comment below. What do y'all like about this thing? Because I like it a lot. You got anything else you want to say about it? No. Nope. All right. Well, there it is. Three to five foot deep running crankbait uh, from JB Lures, J Bros Lures, called the Switch. Thank you for watching. And always remember, no matter what the season, we got you on our sides. You got that right. Y'all be good.